But there is something else which is very interesting, which actually is presented by head of obstructive sleep apnea laboratory. And it also shows that some of the dogma we have in the textbooks are not correct. So there is something common, which increases with age, which is called obstructive sleep apnea. Most doctors know that what happens when you sleep and go to deep sleep, the soft tissue, which uh, larynx and uh, 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 glottis, and uh, which controls the upper part of the breathing, may collapse, and you stop breathing. And when you stop breathing, brain doesn't get enough oxygen, it wakes you up. That's called obstructive sleep apnea. What uh, uh, in, is incorrect, but it was present in most textbooks, that people with obstructive sleep apnea will develop erythrocytosis, which makes sense. Well, uh, we and Dr. Krishna Sundar, who will be presenting that work uh, uh, as a poster at the me Brooklyn meeting, have uh, looked at large number of patients with obstructive sleep apnea, and most of them should have higher red cells and they don't. And the question is why? So interestingly, when you measure their erythropoietin, which controls production, it's higher, so they should have your red cells. But people with obstructive sleep apnea uh, also develop increased inflammation, which is detrimental. So people with obstructive sleep apnea are more likely to get diabetes, more likely to get hypertension, and more likely to get another cancers. And the inflammation is interacting with somatic mutation to increase the risk of malignancy, including polycythemia vera. So what Dr. Sundar is trying to show now, and I collaborate with him, that people with obstructive sleep apnea who have polycythemia vera or essential thrombocytemia, that's our theory, that if you treat them, the polycythemia vera may get better just because you decrease inflammation from obstructive sleep apnea. And this is based on anecdote. I had a patient with polycythemia vera. He uh, was in complete hematological remission, but required large amount of the medication. But then uh, the blood counts were getting lower and I had to keep decreasing the medication. And then he told me, oh doc, I forgot to tell you, I was diagnosed with obstructive sleep apnea and I'm getting treated now. So we think it is possible, but needs to be proven by a large number of data and statistics that the obstructive sleep apnea may be a contributor environmental factor, which may negatively modulate this.